Hey, it's Brickazar. It's time for a Lego haul. And we're going to also do a bat. So in this video, we're going to show you a couple of packages, one from Walmart.com and one from the UK. Actually, it's two from the UK. And the mailman has been kind enough to bring these to us once again. He's always handles the stuff good. He gets it to us promptly. And we just love the mailman. Takes care of our packages. So thank you, Carl. So, we're going to do a bat at the end of this, and the bat's going to be about collecting Lego. Uh, well, I do it forever, and then another one for Mardi Gras Man 2 3 about what's up with the Bricklink store. So, we'll start with the two from the UK. Actually, let's start with the one from Walmart. I'll go ahead and open this up. I'll use my brick popper. They sent me this brick popper, and unfortunately, I've not actually taken apart any Lego since I got it. <laughs> any Lego sets or pieces. So I haven't really got to use it on pieces. I guess I should set something up and test it out. All right. <sighs> okay, this is only one item. I guess I got some more stuff on back order. There's not even an invoice in there. So we got this, this fishing one. I ordered a... Um, I don't know if you if you remember other people may but every couple of months I order coffee from Walmart but they only let you order six and that doesn't get you to the limit for free shipping so I, I add a couple of Lego sets so I added this one maybe this was the only one I got I can't remember how much this cost because it's usually about 20 to 25 dollars but I could have sworn I bought two anyway I don't remember so got this one, the Duplo Forest Fishing Trip. Bricks are, takes they might be bricks fishing, and I don't know how to fish. So that would be interesting, and probably get eaten by a black bear. So that's a pretty cool looking set. Had to get it, it's got some cool animals in it. A squirrel, 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 squirrel. It's got a fox and a bear, so that's pretty cool. So now we'll do the two packages from the UK. It's actually from the same people. Ordered this a while back, and it's just now arriving, but it is this bricks and bricks culture. What do you think? All right. So the bricks culture is. I think this is the one that I'm going to like. Is the bricks culture. Because it brings in some of the different mocks um, over the years that people have made. I think Brick Show may have done an overview of this. Oh, look. But it's. There's uh, Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> there's that TV. <laughs> That's pretty uh, famous. A Fall Man has built that from this guy's uh, mock, Chris McVeigh. So he's made some really cool stuff. So even that um, Apple computer there. So that's pretty good. And then Bricks is the essential guide to buy, building, buying, and collecting Lego products. So, oh look, there's a train. Turn it right to a train one. Top 10 Lego tie-ins. So I'm going to look at this. I'll probably take the time to read it. And then maybe come back and tell you what I thought about these. Uh, these are really thick. They are much thicker than Brick Journal. Um, I don't know how many pages it is. Yeah, 130 or so pages. 120 something pages. It does have some in instructions. Uh, when I was just flipping through here, I think I saw some instructions how to build some things. But anyway. Two cool magazines, glad to get these, and um, did take a while to get them, but uh, there was a lady with bricks. They they had to change how they're handling the order processing and shipping of these, and they, I really appreciate them following up with me. I didn't even ask them to follow up, I just hadn't got it, and Brick Show got theirs, and I left a comment on their video, say, hey, you got yours, that's great, and they contacted, and the bricks, people contacted me, and they're like, did you get yours? And said no and then here it is so glad to get it I was waiting on ordering the subscription or the new items 
until I got these. I wanted to make sure I could get these, and yes, I did get them. Um, they are a little dog-eared. Oh, oops, a little dog-eared there on the ends. But you know, this had to travel overseas, and I don't really want to. I wouldn't want to pay extra to have it more securely shipped. So that's really not even a problem. All right, so let's get to our Brigzar answer thingy questions. Let Carl hang in while we do that. I could let you look at me, but I'm all sweaty. So the first one's from Rick Ice. He said, when would you consider your Lego collection over, if ever? And I really, see, I'm pretty sure death would end it. But I'm not really in, I've never really given any consideration to not collecting Lego. Although, I have gone through a couple of cycles in my life where I wanted to downsize. Uh, one was in early 2000s. I downsized a lot and then reacquired things. And lately I've kind of been on a downsize. Not downsizing, but I just haven't been buying as much. Um, just been getting the things that I want or stuff that was on super deep clearance. But I'm not really thinking about quitting. Although I, I do need to kind of scale things back. And that leads to my next question, which is from Mardi Gras Man. He said, is your BrickLink store closed? <laughs> and yeah, it's not technically closed, but it's open with no items available. And he said, is the inventory hidden or did you delete everything? And if it is hidden, how did you do that? And that's a good question because it is hidden and it's a very simple thing to do. And I'm, I won't do a tutorial here, but uh, go to your inventory and there's a checkbox for stock room. What I did is basically put all the items in stock room. So those show up to me. They don't show up as available for sale. And I would do that from time to time. Um, for instance, if I couldn't find an item. Let's say I went to pull a lot and the lot was missing. I ended up pulling the pieces from new sets out of my own collection. And then I would put that as stock room until I found the lot. Or as in the case with a used set sometimes I would review them so I would do a review and I'd put it as stock room so nobody could buy it while I'm doing the review and then if I ran into any problems with the set that affected the quality of it then you know it wouldn't be there for sale and then when I got done with it I put it back and some of those items I put in stock room actually came completely out of my store like Spencer that Duplo set uh, that was one of the best decisions I ever made was reviewing that set so it came out and it's completely out but Everything in my store, there's about 194,000 items. They're all in stock room. And since I don't know where all of those items are now, <laughs> I won't be able to open my store until I start going through it. And I'm probably going to have to go lot by lot. Uh, well, the stack owns will be all right. But anything that's not in a stack own, I'm going to have to account for it. And that's going to take a while. And I just don't know if I'm... I'm not in the mood to really open my store. I may open it with a few items that I want to sell, maybe uh, like some poly bags or something, just have those available, but I've kind of enjoyed the break. So anyway, that's an answer to that question. Thanks to Mardi Gras Man 23 for asking that. I know other people have asked too about my BrickLink store, but I'm just not in the mood for selling stuff right now, and I've kind of enjoyed the break. And thank Rick Ice for his question, and yes, I probably will be collecting Lego until I don't breathe anymore. So. Got any more back questions? Be sure to ask them. I'm just hadn't been able to answer a lot of them lately, so I'm kind of throwing this one in with this small haul. Thanks to Bricks and Bricks Culture for sending me these, and thanks to Walmart for uh, giving me the coffee. Maybe I should do the coffee as part of the haul. Maybe the next time I will. But they never, they never put them together. They always ship the coffee separate from the Lego. But anyway, thanks for watching. It's Briggs are.